Hi everyone, it's the English Summer here and welcome back to the Younguns part 8. Is this part 8? I think this is part 8. I'm not really too sure, but yeah, I'm fairly sure this is 8. So in this part, I did say that we were going to go visit Leah, who is the woman that Nina actually grew up with. And I'm really excited to show you guys her house. It is bloody adorable. I am obsessed with it. I will leave the link to, well not the link, I will leave the creator's name and the house name in the description down below if you guys want to plop the little caravan into your house. I did like make a couple of changes on it but it is adorable if I do say so. Well I didn't build it so I can say it. So thank you to whoever built it because it is wonderful. Um, so we're gonna go visit her but first off I think I want to do some meditation with Nina. I sort of want this to become her daily routine where she kind of gets um like gets breakfast and then goes and does some meditation for like an hour out of her day. I really think that's the thing that she would do so um that's how we're gonna go about it. Haley actually has work. She's currently, did you do all of that? Oh, it's only 50% done. Are you kidding me? We don't have time to do another painting, but oh well, uh, we can sell that. Why do you have a random book in your inventory? Do we even have a bookshelf? Where did you get that from? Where, where is this from, Haley? Why do you have this? She's eating pizza for breakfast. The girls are so healthy. Oh no, <laughs> Chloe doesn't like it. I'm like, the girls are so healthy, they just sit and eat like two slices of cheese pizza for breakfast. Oh, I love them. Yeah. They are so me. <laughs> Apparently it's not very nice though. Chloe isn't enjoying that by the looks of it. Um, but yeah, in the last part we found out that Chloe could maybe be pregnant. I am not going to do a pregnancy test because that's sort of the storyline I'm going with with this is that she doesn't know and the only reason she's gonna know is if she starts feeling like nauseous and <laughs> yeah so pregnancy tests wouldn't come into her mind because it's literally been like two days since we woohooed. Um, we're gonna take a thoughtful, no just take a shower actually we don't need a thoughtful one. Um, Actually, maybe do take a thoughtful one because I kind of want you to write a bit more today. Haley, where are you off to? Why are you washing your hands up there? There is a perfectly good sink in the kitchen. Go eat that slice of pizza. Should you be at work? Yes, you should. Go to work. <laughs> I'm like, are you just going to go wash your hands to get out of going to work? And yes, indeed, that's exactly what she was doing. What level is she actually? I can't even tell what level she is. Um... Okay, here we go. She's a painter level five, so she's getting there. She's landed a spot in an elite local painters group and her portfolio is growing quite large. Maybe she should try building her portfolio with ph photographs instead of the original paintings. Hmm, okay, I guess we could do a little bit of photography with Haley. It's something that we haven't really covered in this Let's Play yet, so I guess we could do that. And one of our books, don't... Stop starting paintings. Get rid of it. Um, <laughs> you're going to come and actually write and you're going to resume ri writing Rapunzel's Rapture. That's really hard to say. Resume writing Rapunzel's Rapture. <laughs> Try saying that three times fast. Oh, that was a tongue twister and a half. We really need to take a picture with Jared. I feel really bad that we have a picture of Harry here. But I do want to... Um, I want to get pictures with everyone, like all our girlfriends and Jared, obviously, because he's our bae. Uh, yeah, I want to get a picture with everyone. Okay, Jared, you can use this and you can take a bubble bath, my friend. I feel like with that body, you earned a bubble bath. So you can go get one of those. I'm going to skip away from you before I start watching you pee. See, Nina's having um, pizza for breakfast as well. I'm going to put that back in. Jared unfortunately can't have pizza for breakfast. Sorry, Jared, but I kind of like looking after your uh, meal intake. So you're going to have some uh, yogurt. <laughs> um, poor Jared. He's like, why do all the girls get to eat pizza every day and I get stuck with yogurt? Pizza actually doesn't fill them up, so I should probably get rid of the pizza. What do we even have in here? Do we have anything healthy? Um, that's just like one singular yogurt. We're gonna get rid of that darn fruitcake and the pizza's all gone now as well, so I'm just gonna throw all of this out. I'll get Chloe to make some fresh stuff and Nina... 
after you have eaten, my friend, I'm gonna get her to meditate and then she can get ready for the day. It's already 11 a.m. <laughs> they went to bed really late because obviously I was playing with Jared at the boys' house. So, um, yeah, the girls barely got any sleep. Oh, there's Poppy. Maybe we should invite Poppy over. A lot of you have been asking for me to, um, to play with the adults again because you really seem to like that. I will fairly soon but it depends on you guys who you want me to play with. Do you want me to play with Harvey and Scarlett a little bit which is Haley's older brother or we could play with her parents or we could play like as Poppy and Tatum and Jason. A lot of you seem to be Jason fans like a lot of you have been going like Get Jason and Haley together and get Jason and Nina together. I don't know what Jason's going to do. Um, I feel kind of weird trying to get him with one of Chloe's friends because I'm like, would he do that? Like, But I think he would. Like, I think if he felt that he would be a good match for one of the girls, I think he would. But um, I don't know. It's hard. I can't tell. Okay, we're going to um, have a quick meal of yoghurt, so go do that Jared, and you Missy can come and do your meditation. So we are going to meditate and work on our wellness skill. I think we'll head out to the little cottage like after she's done like an hour or so of meditation. Look at him in his little... His little jersey. <laughs> All his teammates have this same jersey, which I kind of really like. I think it's quite cute. Oh, we're getting a call. Who are we getting a call from? Hey, Jared, it's me, Alexi. Do you want to come over to my birthday party? Uh, yeah, sure, we'll come to your birthday party. We'll take everyone. Sorry, um, Nina, there goes your, uh, your, um, meditation day. <laughs> but... We like Alexi. Alexi's our friend. He's friends of everyone, really, in the house. He's one of Jared's teammates. He knew Nina before he even knew Jared, so those two are really good friends because they, like, grew up in the same area and same neighbourhood, and, like, their parents are really good... Not their parents, but Leah was uh, really good friends with his parents. So, yeah, he is the birthday sim. Look at Chloe's little outfit. She is adorable. She probably shouldn't pull that off because she is literally the same colour as the pale outfit because she is a redhead and so pale. A little ginger nut. <laughs> I love her. Um, but, yeah, she really seems to pull off that colour. Like, it's weird. Um, where's Alexi? Bro, where are you? Oh, look who's here, Mr. Silas. Oh, look, Harvey's our, uh, Harvey's our caterer. Let's go talk to Harvey a little bit. We're gonna go brighten his day and we're gonna uh, enthuse about iambic pentameter. Chloe, you are such a flipping nerd. Who the hell fangirls over iambic pentameter? Like, that is... Like, Shakespeare nerdism at its fullest. <laughs> that is so cute that that's even an option. That is adorable. Get out. You are far too cute. Um, where's Jared? I think he has work soon. He's playing on this thing. The athletic sims... The athletic sims really seem to like these things. I think... Oh. I think it's because it helps them so much with, like, their hand-eye coordination and, like um reactions and things like that so i think they just really enjoy playing it what are you up to oh she was trying to go on that we actually need to get a shower we kind of stink and i don't want to go around to leah's smelly oh i forgot i gave him tattoos and stuff he has got big he was like the scrawny one of the group and he's definitely got a lot bigger like massively so i love how we're still playing a game as we're talking to harvey <laughs> Um, Harvey, you should probably go resume making that cake. I, I'm so sorry. I, like, completely distracted you from your job. And if you don't get that cake done, then we aren't really going to have a party, are we? I don't know. Where is everyone? Um, like, legit, where is everyone? Oh, Alexi's here. Let's talk to him. Let's give him a funny intro. Do you two not know each other? I don't think they've ever met in the game. So, um... But I did make them good friends. 
So, what should we do? Um, let's take a picture together, get a picture with the birthday sim. We're gonna congratulate him on his birthday and we're gonna give him a little heartfelt compliment and tell a funny story to him. Oh, so cute. Maybe we could get an actual picture. Does Chloe have the camera? Yes, she does. Right, we're gonna take a photo with and obviously so Alexi. Cool. I want to put this up on like her wall, which will be so, so cute. I'm going to do a small one this time though, so it doesn't look massive. <laughs> I always make that mistake and then I'm like, you two look like you're in a relationship because we have a massive picture of you in our room. So um, we're not going to do that in this one. Can you just take a picture with him, please? And she reached level two of the comedy skill, which is cute. Right, let's see. Oh, okay. There we go. That's better. Uh, oh, this is an adorable picture. Oh, this is so cute. I'm going to take a bunch in case... Because um, she's not got a high skill. So in case we actually, like, ruined any of the pictures. Which I... Oh, we ruined, like, one and two, maybe. Mm, yeah, probably two. But we do have some that can be go up on our wall, which is adorable. Um, Alexia, I think you should be at work. Jared's at work. <laughs> We're going to actually work hard. No, Nina, come back up here. We're going to give him a hug and we are going to ask him about his day. See if he's having a good birthday. I love this house. I am obsessed. I did leave the creator of this specific house in my last video, if you guys didn't see, but I left it in the description and I love this house like a lot. I am obsessed with it. Why are you going into like the science room? That's so weird. <laughs> um, oh, I want them to become best friends. Please, be please, please. Let's become best friends. Oh, there we go. She's like, yay, we're best friends now. <gasps> that is so cute. We're going to talk about herbalism. And we are also going to um, discuss focusing methods. Maybe he's into meditation. Who knows? Maybe he's got that connection with us. And we're going to get to know him. And then I think this is going to actually... I think I'm just going to end the social event because I do want to go to Leah's um, he still hasn't made this cake he's just here making a bunch of stuff and he hasn't actually made the cake ending early everyone seems to be having such a good time you don't want the social event to end yes I kind of did sorry sorry not sorry but we need to head out somewhere <laughs> uh, a little bit more important so Willow Creek I think this is where I put it uh, yes, this lot right here, I am in love. We're just gonna travel by ourselves. And I actually have, I just saw something that reminded me on screen then, but I actually have a little, um, I guess you could say plot twist. I don't really know if you would class it as that, but I have something coming that you guys might not be expecting. Um, I don't want to give too much away or anything like that some of you are probably gonna guess it in the comments and if you do I'll be like no um but yeah I'm definitely looking forward to that but this is the lot I added in like a bunch of trees so that it was sort of hidden but look at how flipping adorable this thing is like this is like secret garden this is like my dream house well like I would love to live in a place like this for like a year out of my life I find it so so cool like she has a little garden and oh I am in love I honestly love it so much like how cool why can we not like oh do we have to knock on the door um but yeah this is like the little caravan type like shack I don't know but it's so cute i love it so much i am so in love with this place but here we go here is leah oh shoot i actually didn't get their relationship up again i completely forgot oh well um we'll have to do that at another time where's her toilet and so yeah it's pretty much a caravan like if you look at it from this angle 
um the shower and loo are like right next to each other there's just like a cute little sitting area and then the kitchen is all open plan and then a little bedroom back here how adorable is this lot don't even lie to me i know that it might not be everyone's like style and things like that we're also gonna take a shower um yeah it's pretty like old worldy um there's lots of deep purples and reds and dark woods but i flipping love it i oh i oh i can't i can't i can't even <laughs> i sound like such a tumblr person i can't even right now but i really can't i freaking love this lot like fangirling zero to a hundred right now <laughs> I want this house. How cool would it be to live here for like a year of your life? Like I know that it would be not difficult. I think I'd enjoy it to be honest. I'm one of those people that could probably live in a camper van and just go around the beaches of like any country and be happy. I think that's the type of person I am. I think that's like what I would love to do just for even say if it was like only like three months of my life but that would be so cool just like cutting yourself off from the world and living in a little place like this would be adorable um right so she's home so she can just care for herself and we're gonna give her a friendly intro i really should have i might just do the relationship cheat right now for you guys um so testing cheats on then you guys can see it if you ever want to do it so where is she what's her name leah 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 where is she oh do we like not even know her okay what's her actual name leah newman so what you do is you have to make sure you are clicked on the sim that you want to edit the relationship for testing cheats on obviously and then modify relationship and then your sim's name so hers is mondragon and then hers is leah Newman so spelled that way no <laughs> not all one word Newman and then you pick like the number the number relates to how far up the green bar you want to go I want to go like 100 because she's lived with her and she's basically her mom and then you type friendship underscore main and if you actually want that to be romance then you just put romance instead of friendship and then you can also do minuses to make like enemies and things like that which I think is pretty cool so you just hit enter and she should be in our relationship bar but we didn't actually get a notification so i don't think that worked why did that not work of course when i want to do something maybe i didn't write the names right testing cheats on modify relationship i probably i probably spell it wrong nina mon dragon leah newman is that how you spell it? No, I keep putting lie. <laughs> Leah, N-E, nah, that's what I did wrong. Sorry guys, this is a pain in the buttocks, isn't it? 100 friendship underscore main. Boom, there you go. She just became good friends with Nina, which is awesome because that's what I wanted them to be and she should be somewhere. So there we go. They're now good friends, which is what I wanted. That is the relationship cheat that I have been... Well, I used to set up everyone's relationships, basically. I just went into all the households and had to do that cheat for everyone. And you literally have to do it for the other person as well as your sim, which kind of gets annoying if you are playing with all those families. But if you're just playing with one, you can just do it for your family and they'll be friends, I guess. Um... But yeah, that's why it took so long for me to set up this Let's Play because I legit had to do that for however many Sims we have in this Let's Play. Um, we're going to enthuse about the outdoors. We're also going to give her a heartfelt compliment, talk about herbalism, um, discuss gourmet dishes. She's like literally the woman who brought us up. Like she taught us all about gardening and wildlife and how to protect things and how to do herbalism and how to cook. She has been our mother basically. So we love this woman like a lot. 
well, I love her like a lot. She is, she is one cool mama. I really, oh, I just dropped my ring. Sorry, guys, that was probably really loud. <laughs> Um, but yeah, she is so adorable and I'm so glad that Nina has someone like her. Nina did have a pretty crazy life which we haven't found out too much about just yet but we will be slowly but surely her past will be resurfacing. I did tell you that she was given up for adoption by her parents and before this woman found her she did go through some things I guess you could say so her past will definitely start to catch up to her at some point I have so many ideas for this let's play basically I am like I literally have a diary that I write in where I'm like okay next I can do this and then I can bring this person into this let's play and then I can do this and I can explain this by linking this to this it's it's like a story in my brain and I'm loving it because that is something that I've always loved. I've always loved telling stories and writing stories. When I was younger, I used to like sit in my room and write like kids stories, which is pretty lame. Um, but I probably still have them all on my laptop somewhere. Um, but yeah, I just have always loved that. And seeing that in a game that I also love playing and getting feedback from you guys is insane and probably one of the coolest freaking things ever. So thank you for that but yeah i didn't really have much of a plan for coming here i just wanted to come see leah because she's basically like our mom and i think it's really cute that these two are still really close even though nina's grown up and she's now living with her friends and things like that but i think we are gonna go home um, <laughs> she's like chair and she's like whoop whoop that was an amazing story but I think we are gonna head home because we are getting hungry and I just wanted a sweet little catch up I was gonna say chat up definitely didn't want to chat up I wanted a sweet little catch up between those two so I think what we're gonna do is maybe have the girls do some more yoga a lot of you have been saying you want to go for like a girly spa day which I think could be really cute we also still need to go to Granite Falls on a little like holiday with Jason but I'm sort of holding off on that until I find out if Chloe is pregnant or not can you not go to sleep girl we're gonna do some yoga we're all gonna get out here um somewhere I don't know where I guess I can remove this table because we really don't need it so I'm gonna delete that that should give them enough room I don't know if it will or not what am I doing uh, so you are gonna go uh oh we can actually do yoga routines we're gonna do brrr energy centering and you guys can just practice because you're a little bit behind Nina you know Nina got a head start with her meditation so she's feeling a little bit more confident but <laughs> I love these yoga mats I'm obsessed with like the routines that they do and like the actions and interactions that they have um okay you guys are using the opposite ones but that's cool I guess <laughs> they're doing it like back to back here we go Let's see how everyone does. I think these two are going to be doing like the same routine and she's going to be doing something completely different. Look at her trying to balance. Oh, they're doing quite well. Haley's legs are so bent. And Nina has now reached wellness level three. Nina can now give aromatherapy massage and platform the triangle pose in yoga. Oh, and perform, not platform. <laughs> can perform the triangle pose in yoga that's so cool she can now do like aroma massages we definitely need to get a um i think i'm gonna do this now i forgot what they're called though then oh incense holders there we go um yeah you can now get incense holders which is really cool i think we're gonna get the spring blossom one and we'll get it in this color for now so we're gonna light it oh <gasps> soothing sage sharp, sharpening saffron peaceful patchouli we're gonna go for a peaceful patchouli oh my goodness this is so cool this came with the new game pack i am like fully just obsessed with this game pack i've said obsessed so much as i've been describing it but i really am and they're both now a level two in wellness which is really cool actually 
She's actually feeling focused. Um, in the last part, she, when she did yoga, she was just feeling uncomfortable. They are getting better though. That boat pose is coming along nicely. They're both doing well. Uh, but Nina's looking pretty darn athletic. She seems to be getting more toned. Like, look at her arm muscles. I definitely... I don't know if that is yoga or whether I just built her like that and forgot. But she's pretty zen. Whoa, girl. You're getting... Fl oh, 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 okay. I spoke too soon. <laughs> I was like, whoa, she's getting flexible. But she unfortunately fell over as soon as I said that. <laughs> I love her. She's so cool. Have you like finished your... Oh no. She's still going. She's still going. <laughs> Chloe looks so dorky doing this. She's such a dork. Haley is like... She's a dork but she can do it quite well. But um, Chloe's just like all over the place. Like her legs are going everywhere. Oh look at his chest. That is ridiculous. You look like you have man boobies. We need to slim you down my friend but you're feeling pretty hungry. So um Chloe I guess can actually come over here and serve some fried fish. Can you not? Can you not grab anything? Oh there's actually yogurt out here. I guess you can eat that yogurt. It's not gonna do anything is it? Chloe do we know if you're pregnant yet? No we don't. Okay, here we go. Nina's finished now. She just comes in. She's like, that's enough for today. I'm going to go watch TV. <laughs> I love her. She's basically me. She's like, I'm gonna I worked out so for like an hour, so I can go watch TV. Haley is feeling pretty darn tired though, so I think we're just going to send her to sleep. She has been working all week, bless her little cotton socks, and she finally has a day off tomorrow. So maybe we'll go to the spa tomorrow, maybe we'll play as one of the adults. I don't know, you guys let me know what you guys want to see in the next part because I know that so many of you have been suggesting loads and loads of cool things. You can grab a serving of that, Jared. And, um, Chloe, you're not feeling too hungry, so you can just go use the bathroom. So yeah, just let me know what you guys want to see. I'm up, really, for doing anything in this Let's Play, as long as it, like, kind of doesn't shift too far from what I want with the stories. But, yeah, I'm pretty much down for anything. So you guys, let me know what you want to see, and I will try and cooperate. Okay, you're going to grab a serving of fish, which is good. That's what I wanted you to do. Oh, look, here's little Miss Belagoth. A lot of you have been saying that you want drama between the young'uns instead of just the adults. And I definitely want to start bringing drama into it. As I was saying before, I do have something up my sleeve, I guess you could say. Um, so, yeah, I do have a little bit of drama coming off, but... <laughs> A lot of you have been saying get someone to cheat on someone like Chloe with Harvey or Harry and I don't see that as Chloe. I'm sorry to like shoot you guys down but that is totally not Chloe's persona to me. She is far too sweet to do that. Like yes maybe like she still has feelings for one of them which is kind of awkward because they're both oh. brothers and it could get weird. Um, but she definitely wouldn't get with Harvey while she's still with Jared because for one, Harvey has a family and she would not want to ruin that. Two, that's just not in her personality. Like, she's so in love with Jared, bless her, that she just couldn't do that. And think, speaking of that, I feel like these two need to go on a date again. I feel like... They're very romantically involved with each other. So what we're going to do is actually have them interact. We're going to vent to her a little bit. I feel like they haven't really, um, like, spoken a lot recently, which is kind of sad because I feel like they definitely would. We're going to express our fondness to her. We're going to vent and we're going to um, sweet talk her a little bit. Be a little cutie. And... We're gonna compliment her appearance, even though she's here in her like workout gear, which I actually need to change. I need to also add in a few more athletic wears for the girls with the new game pack stuff. Um, 
But yeah, I definitely want those two to get a little bit more friendly. Nina, why don't you come and meditate for a little bit? And we can also relight this. We have enough money. Our money is actually going up pretty decently. I think that's thanks to Jared's job. Like, he is pretty well played. Paid? Paid, not played. <laughs> He's pretty... I can't talk. What is wrong with me? He's pretty well paid for his job, so he's doing quite well. Um, can we like give him a massage? He's feeling like super tense, so I want to give him like a massage. Uh, is that? Yeah, there we go. Off a massage. Come on, Chloe. Oh, cuties! This is so sweet. He's like, yeah, do it. <laughs> oh. That's so cute. They're taking like a selfie together. I really want a big selfie actually that we can like hang above our bed. So give the camera back to Chloe a second and we are gonna take photo with Jared. I'm gonna do like a massive one that we can have like on our wall which will be adorable. It's such a Chloe thing to do. Um, Nina is actually down here. Does this thing give her a moodlet? Natural earthy scent. The patchouli is releasing Nina's inner harmony with nature, releasing an aura of cheer. So she's feeling energized because she's got her senses boosted from doing yoga. She's feeling happy from having a new best friend. She is on it. She is just loving life. Okay, are you guys taking a picture? Can you do that please? And then I'm going to send you to bed because it's like 1am. Oh, Jared really needs to pee. <laughs> He's like, do we have to take a picture, Chloe? No. You just go to sleep. I need the toilet. <laughs> Chloe, take a picture. Take photo with Jared. There we go. Oh, I don't. I kind of didn't want him in a football kit and her in her um, her yoga outfit. But oh well, I guess that's. It's still a cute picture. Let's not lie to ourselves. I will take one when they're in like their normal everyday wear. I think it's going to be black and white, the one I want. Um, so I'm going to take a couple of those in case they get messed up. But there we go. I am actually going to end this part here, guys, because it's been pretty long. I want our walls up a second so I can... Uh, where is it? Grab one of these pictures. Oh, no, they're the ones with Harry. We don't want them. Uh, here we go. Cuties and I want to drag this light up there we go so we now have this picture of us oh and it's like above her writing area so she's always going to be reminded of Jared when she's like writing romance novels and things like that that is so cute but I am going to end this part here guys so thank you all so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this part not too much happened this was sort of just a chill out day um getting to know a little bit more about Nina like I said her past will definitely start to resurface quite soon because I know a lot of you have been asking and uh yeah she has quite a um intense past I guess you could say so that will be definitely coming at some point but thank you guys so much for watching I love you all so so much I cannot thank you enough for all the really sweet comments I've been getting on this let's play I am um, I was gonna say obsessed and I've already said that like 10,000 times in this part but I am obsessed with this let's play let's be real here I can't hide it I love these characters I love the storylines I love everything about this but like I said let me know what you guys would like to see in the next part we can go to the spa if you want we can play with some of the adults maybe Jason if you guys want it's completely up to you we can play with either of Haley's families the choice is yours and the world is your oyster well Newcrest is your oyster <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching if you like this part please do give it a big thumbs up leave all of your comments and suggestions down below and I will speak to you all in my next part bye guys